Good morning. We're here at Buddy Brew, got the Buddy Brew coffee uh, with uh, a great crowd, They're very enthusiastic individuals. Kind of a somber day. Um, decided today what we do is talk about um, the, uh, the life um, of uh, Governor Lee, or, um, um, Admiral Leroy Collins. Leroy Collins uh, was the head of the uh, State Department of Veteran Affairs and was killed tragically yesterday in a bicycle accident. He was 75 years old and, um, uh, as I understood, uh, would row each morning, uh, sometimes five and six miles um, at, at the University of Tampa and was biking to the University of Tampa when he was hit and killed um, by an SUV. And, um, and that was the end of, um, of the life of a man who was given so much for his nation his state and his community. And so um, we're going to talk briefly about that. We're also going to talk about, um, you know, what really what Florida needs to become. We talked at length about how this state has so much to offer. It's a beautiful state, Sunshine State, but it but it has sorely underperformed when it comes to pedestrian and bicycle safety. If you look at the statistics, USA Today had a very good article that talked about this about a month and a half ago, in which they talked about our state leading the nation in bicycle fatalities and in pedestrian fatalities. And here we are, a state that ought to be out encouraging people to walk and bike and hike and enjoy the great outdoors. And instead of being able to do that, um, we, we have uh, ourselves in a situation where it's dangerous indeed for people who love to be outside, who love to enjoy the outdoors and exercise, to do so. And, you know, that's something that we can effectively, working together, resolve. And so, one of the issues which I think is very important, and many of, of our, uh, our supporters think is important, is that our state needs to do more to encourage um, outdoor recreation and make it safer for individuals to, um, to ride, to bike and hike and do things like that. And Leroy Collins was a man who, uh, who loved the outdoors. Uh, Navy Admiral, Rear Admiral, two-star, uh, served his country, went to the Naval Academy, I understand graduated um, in 56 from uh, the U.S. Naval Academy. And just a, um, a sharp uh, individual that um, gave his all for his nation, and uh, it will be sorely missed. So we just want to um, ask you to give your prayers to the Admiral and his family, and um, and, and, and wish um, and wish uh, his family the very best. Um, transportation and safety, bicycle safety, they go together. And we know that if we're going to be competitive economically, if we're going to bring uh, businesses to our community, the ones that you know like to go to places like Seattle, uh, Madison, Wisconsin, uh, Boston, Atlanta, uh, uh, Charlotte, Dallas, Houston, those communities that have decided they're going to make a conscientious effort to in invest in, um, in bicycle safety, pedestrian safety, we're going to make the roads and streets safer. Those are the things that we have to consider. Those are the things that we have to really focus on. If we're going to attract you know, young workers, people who want to come here and, uh, and work and, and also enjoy a beautiful state. I had an opportunity to speak to a group of um, students not too long ago, and it was phenomenal. Uh, young people, uh, high school kids, who talk about you know what they like to do. They like to go see a good football game. And you know what? Here we are. What is it? Uh, the 30th of July. Uh, a couple of days. It's going to be August. Um, we're not going to recognize uh, fall as approaching because it's going to be mighty hot until about October. But we're going to be getting into football season. Everyone's excited about you know going and watching the Bucks game, and that's fantastic. But really, what people like to do is they like to go outside. They like to ride. They like to run. I ride every morning and out there by my wife we, or my kids. We get up and we run all the time. We love to enjoy the outdoors. And if we're going to be really competitive, if we're going to find, you know, that we can get those young workers, the ones that right now are sitting, um, you know, in classrooms uh, all across um, this great state, if we're going to get those kids when they graduate from high school and college to stay here and raise their families here and feel comfortable living here. And we've got to do a lot to make sure, again, that this, um, that our community has safe streets. And we're going to be um, talking a lot about that over the next four years. We're going to be working very hard in this community to create high-wage jobs and bring people here who, um, and companies here that can really do a lot to, um, to make our community a better place. 